Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. A properly balanced diet is the best source of vitamins and micro and macronutrients affecting the skin, hair and nails. The development of food science and the emergence of entirely new food products enriched with selected nutrients and dietary supplements allows us to take care of our body's needs healthily. Therefore, supplements are becoming increasingly important in preventing many diseases and pathological conditions and supporting everyday well-being. But there are so many questions about the supplements. Which one should I take and why should I take it? Which one should I avoid? I have the answers for you in this video. My name is Dr. Volodymyr Cherny. Let's start. It is worth monitoring and keeping a vigilant eye on this new and very rapidly developing food and pharmaceutical industry. Here I'll offer some of my personal suggestions and observations about the supplements vital for skin health plus some actionable steps for you to consider. And I also want to emphasize that certain compounds of the supplements are not just good for, uh, for younger looking skin, but are also vital for longevity and wellness. So here we start. And the first supplement on my list is collagen. So, and collagen is of course a big thing. And you must have heard about the hyaluronic acid and the last thing that build up our skin. But collagen makes up to seven, from 70 to 80% of our skin. We also know that molecules of collagen are gigantic and can't penetrate the skin. So the creams containing collagen won't effectively uh, rejuvenate the skin. And uh, people often ask me whether ingesting skin collagen improves the quality of the skin or not. Clinical studies regarding the potential effects of collagen-based dietary supplements on the skin are being completed to address this knowledge gap. Well, a double-blind placebo-controlled study uh, from the University of Kiel in Germany has shown that ingesting a collagen supplement improved the skin's elasticity. Another prospective randomized control study from the Journal of Cosmetic Dermatology evaluated that daily supplementation with collagen tripeptide may improve skin elasticity and thickness. Moreover, there is an excellent systematic PubMed review of 11 randomized placebo-controlled trials that have concluded that preliminary results for the short and long-term use of oral collagen supplementation, such as uh, collagen hy um, hydrolysate and collagen tripeptide are promising for wound healing and skin aging. Collagen supplementation is generally safe with no reported adverse events, so collagen is essential for our skin health. The second supplement with exceptional anti-aging properties on my list is omega-3, omega-3 acids. So, uh, it is impossible to de-emphasize the importance of everyday intake of fish oil. Fish oil omega-3 acids are derived from, uh, is derived from tissues of fatty fish. It contains high polyunsaturated fatty acids such as uh, EPA and DHA, icosapentaenoic and uh, docosahexaenoic acid. And polyunsaturated fatty acids are essential building blocks of the brain cell's membrane and the key constituents of, in the skin barrier. So they influence cerebral blood flow, oxidative stress, neurotransmitter levels and new neurons production, uh, which improve cognition at, at its best. So they also improve cardiovascular health and can help against depression. The importance of their everyday intake is well, I'd say it's critical to every human being. The anti-inflammatory activities of these compounds are well established, as several studies have demonstrated their efficacy in combating erythema and irritation associated with cutaneous conditions, such as uh, psoriasis, rosacea, and eczema. Significant anti-inflammatory activity displayed by EPA and DHA against UV-induced erythema has been demonstrated recently in vivo in human volunteers. The hydrating qualities of omega-3 fatty acids also add volume to the skin, minimizing the appearance of fine lines. In addition, black and rose suggest 
that the wide array of ex experimental and clinical studies indicated an essential role for omega-3 fatty acids in preventing non-melanoma skin cancer, as manifested in evidence of increasing tumor uh, latency periods, periods, decreasing tumor number, increasing the UV radiation-mediated erythema threshold in humans. I also would like to mention that uh, certain researchers suggested that the endogenous synthesis means the synthesis of uh, omega-3 acids that are going now in, inside of our body is low, but yield stable plasma levels in individuals whose diets exclude animal foods. Such findings support the notion of uh, vegetarian and vegan diets providing sufficient polyunsaturated fatty acids concentration for survival. But to optimize cutaneous health and appearance, vegetarians and vegans may benefit from adding supplemental omega-3 fatty acids in their diet. It is worth noting that topically applied EPA has also been found to exert photoprotective and anti-aging effects on the skin. The third massive group of products I advise you to take for good-looking skin and overall health are antioxidants. Now, I'd like to explain you how do they work. So, first, we all know that oxygen is the basis of life on this beautiful planet. It is our most vital nutrient needed by every cell in our body. But oxygen is chemically reactive and highly dangerous. In normal biochemical reaction, oxygen can become unstable and capable of oxidizing neighboring molecules. Uh, free radicals might be compared with nuclear wastes, which must be disarmed 100% just to remove possible jet danger. And these bad guys that we call free radicals are made in all processes outside and inside our body, including smoking, cigarettes, any bad habits, air pollution, sunlight exposure, frying and BBQ and meat, and even doing sports, breathing, digesting, and other normal body processes. And antioxidants are substances that protect cells from oxidative damage caused by uh, exogenous factors, those that influence us from the outside. In addition, antioxidants protect cells from endogenously generated oxidative stress, which means our internal oxidative stress, natural byproduct of cellular energy production. Oxidative stress, whether its origin uh, is external, uh, external or internal, uh, contrib contributes to inflammatory pathways mediated by the formation of free radicals, molecules with an uneven number of electrons, to be precise, and thus highly reactive. When left unchecked, free radicals can cause damage to cell membranes, lipids, proteins, and DNA, thus contributing to skin aging among a cascade of other harmful effects on health. Antioxidants scavenge and eliminate free radicals and are crucial to the success of a skincare regimen. Antioxidants are not panaceas for all health problems, they offer significant benefits, while several uh, antioxidants impart wide-ranging ameliorative effects, uh, and it appears likely that synergistic activity, means when they uh, act together, of several antioxidants bestows more significant benefits. That is why it is always great to have a few antioxidants in your beauty arsenal to maintain your skin's best condition. There are plenty of different antioxidants known to be essential for overall health, but I decided to point out to a few of them. Uh, for example, like polyphenols. Comprising a broad range of more than 8,000 naturally occurring compounds, polyphenols are plant metabolites that exert varying degrees of antioxidant activity. They are not classified as essential nutrients uh, in our lives uh, because we do not depend on them as in like, for example, like on white vitamins. However, these phytochemicals play a vital role in the body's biochemistry in ways that affect our health as significantly as minerals and vitamins as well. In this sense, they are best thought of as um, semi-essential, I would say, nutrients. Unfortunately, they are not stored in the body. 
it is best to eat food rich in polyphenols or get them through supplementation. Polyphenols are an exceedingly important part and thus most copious antioxidants in the human diet and are found in a vast spectrum of vegetables, fruits, herbs, grains, uh, tea, coffee beans and red wine. Plenty of them uh, have proven their health benefits. These are potent antioxidants, particularly rich in green tea and berries. These substances have been investigated for their cancer protective effects, which have been found to be even more powerful than those in vitamins C and E. It is believed that green tea consumption in Japan, which averages about three cups a day, is partly responsible for the low levels of cancer found in that country. Flavonoids are the most abundant polyphenols in the human diet, as well as the most studied polyphenols, and some of them, like quercetin, epigenin, myricetin, are well known for their wide range of health benefits, especially in alleviating cellular inflammation, strengthening the immune defense, and preservation of neuronal structure and function. Catechin is a natural phenol which has been reported to be effective in preventing premature aging and age-related disease such as cardiovascular disorder, neurodegenerative disease, and cancer. Studies demonstrated that catechin significantly inhibits oxidative stress by promoting the activation of uh, antioxidative uh, substances and exerts significant anti-inflammatory properties by regulating the inflammation-related oxidative stress-related uh, signal pathways activation or deactivation. Another study also shows that catechin is a potent neuroprotective agent due to its ability to scavenge free radicals, elevate inflammation, uh, chelate iron to prevent the build of iron in conjunction with free radicals, and it also prevents neuronal cell death in neurogenerative diseases. So, all in all, polyphenols are potent antioxidants essential for prevention of aging and can also improve skin's condition. I must admit that I've described only a few polyphenols from this huge uh, group of substances. Some of them um, have antifibrotic action. Some appear to be potent against age-related eye diseases, etc. In other words, I'm drawing your attention only to the ingredients that I know from my personal experience and evaluation, and that is why I'm sharing this advice with you, particularly about these specific compounds. And one more antioxidants uh, show potent antioxidant properties. Yeah, so it's impossible not to mention it. It is coenzyme Q10 or ubiquinone. It occurs both in animal and plant uh, worlds and among microorganisms. This compound is found in every living cell of an organism. It plays an essential role in the mitochondria, where energy is formed during the oxygen combustion process. So, in other words, it helps to give power to every cell in our body. One of the hallmarks of the body's aging process is a result of mitochondrial damage caused by the same free radicals that I mentioned before. At a small concentration, at too low concentration of ubiquinone, may initially manifest as a chronic fatigue syndrome uh, leading to the dysfunction of the organs affected by its shortage. Coenzyme Q10 activates defense mechanisms, protect body cells from oxidation, and stimulates metabolism and regeneration. Ashida and all found that Coenzyme Q10 intake augmented the epidermal coenzyme Q10 level in 43-week-old hairless male mice, which coupled with the previous finding that extended coenzyme Q10 supplementation in humans lowered the wrinkle area rate and wrinkle volume per unit area around the corner of the eye, led them to conclude that coenzyme Q10 supplementation may have the potential to reduce wrinkles and confer additional cutaneous benefits. It is also worth noting that topical coenzyme Q10 has been demonstrated to penetrate the epidermis's viable layers, decrease the level of oxidation measured by weak photon emission, 
and reduce wrinkle depth. Supplements containing ubiquinone impart a caffeine-like uh, caffeine -like stimulatory effect. Therefore, I advise daily use of the supplement containing ubiquinone in the morning. Um, individuals taking cholesterol-lowering statin drugs should be counseled to consider the supplement as statins uh, reduce natural coenzyme Q10 levels. Low coenzyme Q10 levels are associated with fatigue and muscle cramping. Those in cholesterol-lowering drugs should consider taking a little bit higher dose of coenzyme Q10. And another important group of supplements that maintain healthy skin condition uh, are vitamins. So similar to polyphenols, they also possess antioxidant activity, but at the same time, they are chemically different organic substances. Aside from vitamins A and E, I'd like to draw your attention to vitamins C and D. Known historically for its role in preventing scurvy, uh, vitamin C is abundantly available in citrus fruits. In the skin, what vitamin C plays an integral role in the metabolism of collagen. Vitamin C has also been demonstrated to augment collagen synthesis and in neonatal and adult fibroblasts uh, when added to a culture medium. Aging skin is characterized by decreased collagen production. Consequently, it is thought that Increasing collagen production in the skin with vitamin C should theoretically contribute to preventing or even reversing some of the signs of cutaneous aging. The stimulatory effects of uh, vitamin C uh, on collagen synthesis are believed to be effective in preventing and treating stria alba stretch marks. The, uh, this important role in collagen synthesis indicates the relevance of vitamin C uh, in wrinkle prevention. Now, let's say a few words about vitamin D. Perhaps best known as the vitamin that skin produces when exposed to ultraviolet light, vitamin D3, often shorted to vitamin D, is a hormone and a potent antioxidant. Low white vitamin D status is a factor in the development of osteoporosis, for example. Um, besides sun exposure, vitamin D can be obtained through the diet, especially by consuming fatty fish. In addition to imparting benefits to most bodily organ systems, vitamin D plays a significant role in psoriasis treatments. Like all antioxidants, vitamin D can decelerate aspects of cutaneous aging. Cutaneous vitamin D Three synthesis declines with age. Consequently, vitamin D deficiency is not uncommon in the elderly. The demographic group most need of taking oral vitamin, vitamin D supplements. Vitamin D insufficiency is also associated with rickets, uh, certain types of cancer, and various other diseases, unfortunately. More than a decade ago, vitamin D became the subject of controversy when claims emerged that using sunscreen led to vitamin D deficiency. Despite mounting evidence to the contrary, this remains uh, a controversial topic. Interestingly, that Gilcrack cites evolutionary changes in countering the, the argument for controlled exposure to UV to obtain sufficient vitamin D, D levels. Specifically, uh, she suggests that when the human capacity to photosynthesize vitamin D emerged, the lifespan for human beings was considerably shorter than it is today. The effects of long-term photo damage of the modern option of purchasing oral vitamin D could not be part of the equation. So the challenge with vitamin D is balancing the mountain evidence that cutaneous vitamin D production helps preventing various diseases, including some cancers, with the, with the understanding that Prolonged sun exposure dramatically increased the risk of skin cancer and another possible photo damage. Oral vitamin D supplementation in place of UV exposure appears to be the safest approach and may be particularly appropriate for specific populations. For instance, individuals at high risk for skin cancer, uh, for example, those with red hair, 
and freckles or family history of skin cancer should be advised to avoid unprotected sun exposure and to obtain vitamin D in oral supplement form and, uh, and diet for sure. Uh, by the way, certain mushrooms have been found to be a good source of vitamin D. But as we know, getting vitamin D through diet is not always sufficient. So, please remember that blood levels of vitamin D should be checked before starting any supplementation. Vitamin D supplementation should be recommended if levels are low, along with the limited sun exposure. It takes only a few minutes of sun exposure each day to stimulate vitamin D synthesis. Please be reminded of this and remember that it is never a good reason to bake in the sun all day. One more thing I'd like to add. Balanced nutrition and some supplementation of uh, essential vitamins, antioxidants and other ingredients will give your skin its best shot at getting into its healthiest possible state. Regardless of your skincare regimen, no matter how much money you spend on expensive cosmetics, it will be for naught if you don't look into the fundamental conditions needed for healthy skin through nutrition. So now, when you know all this, hopefully valuable for your information, so in the description below, you'll find the link where you can, where you can find the supplements that you're probably going to be interested in, but I'll let you decide. So some of them also include some additional minor ingredients, which, however, serve to provide a synergistic and best approach for maintaining good-looking skin and boosting your health. Thank you very much.